Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. So today we uh, keep on keeping on with our Sensor Robot 20. Uh, this is our second Maxitronics project lab. Uh, we're up to uh, uh, project number five, the light controlled organ. That's what we'll be building today. So we'll uh, hop you over to the booth and we'll put this guy together and then once that's done we'll bring you over to the bench and we'll have a look at the circuit and see how it behaves. Let's get on with it. Here we are in the booth, just uh, preparing for our next project. Take, take, take the wires out of our previous project. So uh, the next project is called the, um, the light controlled organ. So we're still fooling with our CDS cell by the looks of it. Uh, I'll get on with that in a minute. Just going to leave in that one between one and three because we usually need that, don't we? So, uh, throw you over to the book cam and uh, let's have a look at what we're making. So, this is project five the light controlled organ. What it does <clears throat> light falls on the CDS cell and generates a tone. The pitch of the tone is proportional to the intensity of light. The greater the intensity of light, the higher the pitch. Use your hand or a piece of cardboard to control the intensity while you press down the key to start and stop the tone. How it works. When light on the cell increases, the resistance drops and the voltage across the 47 microfarad capacitor increases. Okay. So we're going to be using the 47 uh, microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Uh, I think that's the first time we've used uh, one of the electrolytic capacitors in this kit so far. Uh, one of the 10k ohm resistors connected to the bases of Q3 and Q4 is connected to the positive side of the 47 microfarad capacitor. When the voltage rises on the positive side of the 47 microfarad capacitor, the time needed to discharge the 0.047 microfarad capacitor drops. The on-off cycle of Q3 and Q4 becomes faster. This increase in this switching rate also affects the frequency of the A-stable multivibrator circuit. So when you press the key, this higher frequency generates a higher tone from the buzzer. When the level of light falling on the cell drops, the voltage across the 47 microfarad also drops. The on-off cycle of Q3 and Q4 is lengthened, and the buzzer produces a lower tone. There you go. So I'll throw you over here, and uh, we can put this thing together. So first things first, it's uh, 1 to 3, which we left in there from before. And then we've got uh, 2 to 52. Where is 52? It's all the way over here. So let's throw him in there. 52 and two and uh, then we've got uh, 52 to 63 now 63 is the emitter of Q5 and uh, I think we're going to need a yellow for that one so we'll do two, two 63 that's uh, putting the negative power supply into the emitter of uh, Q5 and then we've got uh, 52, 63, 63 to 76 where is 76? okay that's our um, that's our 47 microfarad electrolytic 40, 76 okay and uh, then we've got 76 to 48 so that's the uh, emitter of Q4 uh, connected to the uh, oops. having some trouble with these uh, yeah okay I've managed to bend this wire a little bit I think maybe I'm too rough with them when I pull them out <clears throat> and then 48 to 42 
It's connecting the uh, the emitters together. Oh no, that's not right. <laughs> it's connecting the emitter of Q4. Oh yeah, it is. It's connecting the emitters together <clears throat> of Q4 and Q3. Q4, Q3. All right, and then we've got nine to sixty-two. So here's nine and sixty-two. Sixty-two is the collector of Q5, and we're hooking that up to the buzzer. Nine and sixty-two, and then we've got uh, sixty-two to fifty. Now, where is 50? 50 is one of our resistors, the 1K resistor. Very good. 62 to 50, there's 50, and there's 62. Oppa. And then um, <clears throat> 15 to 51. Here's 15, here's 51. Looks like a red will do it. So that's hooking the CDS cell up to the 1.8K resistor. 15 and 51. And then 51 to 54, which is just connecting two of these resistors together. So it's sending the, uh, the 1.8K over to the 3.9K. And then we've got uh, 54 to 75. Now 75 is the other, it's the positive uh, side of our 47 microfarad um, capacitor. So that's 54 to 75. 54 to 75, connecting in the, the microfarad, the, the large electrolyte. <sighs> And then 75 to 40. Now 40 is over here. It's the 10K resistor connected to the base of Q3. I think a blue will do it. Blue, I'm not sure. I've just dropped something. All right. Will the blue do it? I'm not sure. All right, it's uh, 40 and 75. 40 and 75. Won't quite make it. Well, maybe it would, but it was a bit of a stretch. So let's use a yellow. 40 to 75. All right. And then uh, 40 to 44. Okay. It's connecting our uh, our transistors via the uh, via the resistors. It's 40 to 44. Okay. And then we've got 16 to 69. So 16 is our key. And 69, it's a ceramic capacitor. One of our ceramic capacitors. There we go, 16 to 69. And after that, we've got 69 to 47. 69 to 47, connecting in the uh, collector of Q4. Collector of Q4 is 47. And 69 is our ceramic capacitor. And then we've got 17 to 55. 17 is the other side of our, our key. Over to 55, which is one of our resistors. It's a 10K resistor. I think a red will do it. And there we go. 17 to 55 and then we've got 41 to 67 now where is 41 over here oh, of course 41 to uh, 67 67 is our ceramic cap so that should be a blue I think Oops, I'm just dropping uh, dropping wires here all right so what was that we were doing uh, did we do 61 I think we're up to 41, aren't we? 41 to 67. 41 to 67. Ripper. 
and then uh, 43 to 70. And 43 is the base of Q3, 43 to 70, which is our other ceramic cap cap. So let's just uh, let's get that happening. 43 to 70. It's 43 and 70. There we go. And then we've got 45 to 39. 45 and 39. Okay, that's just connecting the uh, the collectors via their 1K resistors. I'm just going to have a quick look at the schematic here. Yes, okay. So we've just got one multivibrator in this circuit and it's it's the multivibrator that creates the, the tone. And oh, of course, and the key introduces... Oh, I see, the CDS cell varies the tone because the CDS cell is included in the multivibrator circuit. There you go. So did we just do 45 to 39? I think we did. So we've got 39 to 8. Looks like a blue wire will do that. 39 to 8, which is the other side of our piezo buzzer. And then we've got uh, 8 to 4. So that's just uh, wiring in the power, which is uh, controlled by the, the switch. So this is our, uh, our, our power switch connecting to the buzzer. two switches of course in this circuit. There's the control switch and then there's the key. <coughs> and then uh, 4 to 14. So we're going to send that across for the CDS cell. So that's 4 to 14. And then we go 14 to 49. Where is 49? It's a resistor, isn't it? It is. It's our 1K resistor down here. So we've got 14, which is one side of our CDS cell, down to 49, which is our 1K resistor. Ripper. And then we've got uh, 49 to 53, which is just connecting another resistor in here. So uh, that's 49 and 53. And then we've got 46 to 68. So where is 46? Here, it's the base of Q4. And, uh, and 68, it's our ceramic cap, cap over here. So we're just wiring the base of Q4 into our ceramic cap, or one of our ceramic caps. And um, then just one last wire, 56 to 61. Here's 56 and here's 61. So a white one will do it. 56 to 61. 56 to 61. That's it. So uh, we've completed the wiring. So let's pop you over to the bench and let's have a look at this thing. Here we are on the bench, looking at our uh, mic controlled, our light controlled organ. So uh, we just need to put power in. So there's our positive power and our negative power. We'll just turn him off. There he is, he's off. Uh, now we'll put power on over there. Okay, power has been applied. Um, the control resistor is not in this circuit, so it's just on off switch. So we turn him on and when we press the key, we get our tone. And if we change the, um, the light, we get a different tone. And we change the light even more. Oh no, that's pretty much the whole thing. So, high, low. High, low. There you go. So, um, there's just one multivibrator in this circuit that's over here in block two. Um, 
when we uh, when we wire in the CDS cell, we get an extra resistance um, uh, included in the uh, in the in the resistor network, I guess you'd call it. Oh, and there's also uh, the 47 uh, microfarad uh, capacitance that's on that side of the circuit as well. So uh, this multi vibrator uh, is controlled by the key. Uh, and when it's connected, it goes through Q5 into the um, into the piezo buzzer. So I suppose um, we can have a look at that. There is a multi vibrator in this circuit, so uh, we should be able to get the get the wave. And uh, uh, we'll put this across the. Uh, across the buzzer so let's try him there and there and press that on there there you go and if we change the tone there we go so you see the uh, this the CDS uh, cell affects the the pitch uh, which is equivalent to the wavelength Ripper. So uh, perhaps that's everything there is to tell you about this circuit. The uh, the the uh, uh, the uh, the change in resistance um, changes the 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 pitch of the circuit. You can see the pitch is related to the wavelength um, uh, on the scope. Uh, I don't think there's anything really to see about the the temperature of this thing. There's nothing that gets particularly hot in this circuit. So um, just the uh, just the wavelength of the tone. Excellent. So uh, let's throw you over to the to the farewell cam, and we'll wrap this guy up. So um, yeah, that was a pretty straightforward circuit, wasn't it? The uh, project number five, the light controlled organ. Uh, we really only got two tones, didn't we? I, I suppose we could uh, we could try. Um, giving it a really high amount of light. Do you want to do that? I've got a, um, I've got a, a, um, a, a thingamy. Let's try that. I'll tell you what though. Um, let's just uh, short out the key. Short out the key. And that'll keep the tone on. And then, oops. yeah, there we go going crazy so as you can see the uh, the wavelength definitely proportional to the pitch so we uh, we didn't just have two tones in the end did we we had uh, oh sorry you couldn't see that I'll show you there on the uh, on the um, on the uh, oscilloscope we can see the uh, the the, varia the variation in pitch caused by the variation in light of the uh, over the CDS cell. All right, so there we are. We are, we're finished. We're done. Um, so uh, yeah, very interesting uh, to see the uh, the effect of light on on the CDS cell. <laughs> and uh, up next is uh, photometer photometer that's project number six so if you're interested in project number six don't forget to hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next video